we go. Good morning and welcome Team Southside, where teamwork makes the dream work. Mr. Reynolds here along with Mr. Beatty. Good morning all you stallions out there and our special guests are now going to say their name and which class they're from. Georgia. This is Cotting Cam's class. Cotting Cam's class. Yeah. I'm Walker and I'm from Miss Cotting Cam's class. All right. They're going to lead us in the pledge, so please stand and prepare for the pledge. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, you all did, you all did very well, Pledge. <laughs> Nicely done. The words and everything. So this week's Estimate Mystery is about how many snowflakes are on the Christmas tree. Yeah. I'll pop a picture back in. That's right. Throw a picture there for us yeah. to see. And we are going to give you the first clue. The first clue is... Clue number one. It's more than the amount of worth of two quarters. Oh, so more than the, the yeah. value of two quarters. The value of two quarters. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Sounds good. That gives you in the, in the ballpark, maybe. So you all, you you all study about quarters yet in you class? you guys know how much a quarter is? Um, Not sure about quarters? A half and then take a half of the half. Oh, okay. well, that's, right. a, that's a great answer. Half of a half? But how much is that? How many cents is half of, of the half? A quarter. He's talking about like a quarter <laughs> dollar. He's right. Quarter he's, dollar. Well, he's, yes, he was saying quarter of a fraction. That's right. But a quarter of a dollar is how much? How many pennies is it worth? Hmm. Um, it's a harder one. Okay, so that's what you have to know to be able to use my clue. You have to know how many pennies Two a quarter is worth. What? 25. All right. Walker, listen to you. Yes. 25 cents. We're, we're giving an extra clue there. That's, that's good. That's right. Well, you all did it well. Great job with that there. That's good. Well done. So it is map testing this week, guys. And there are a lot of map tests going on. They've already started. So please, as you walk through the halls, Make sure that you stay quiet, especially when your class is done. You might feel like having a little mini celebration, but there's probably somebody else taking the test at that time. So especially in the mornings, we're doing a lot of map testing and then uh, fifth grade halls in the afternoon. So please make sure that you're quiet during map testing in the halls. All right. And a little housekeeping notes. One is about the lost and found students. It's about time for us to donate those lost and found items again. So if they're still here when we leave for the winter break, they won't be here when we get back. So if you've lost something, make sure you check it out. See if you can find it, take it home with you so that we don't have to bag it up and donate it while you're gone. Right. A lot of lost things, not a lot of found things yet. That's right. <laughs> Need to be some more finding. And also, one more announcement. Yep. Yes. You remember what it is? Uh, no, I don't remember what it is. <laughs> what is our last announcement? It oh, is. oh, yeah. The food drive. The food drive. Yes. All those tables in the back lobby are for bringing food. Yes. Yeah, so and I think we have a spot for each. We want those tables to be loaded down with food. Loaded covered down. with food. Why do you need food? So we want these, you guys to bring in non-perishable items. Could be like uh, cereal or cans of food cans of or food. rice, yeah. that kind of stuff. Those are all non -perishable. Ramen, my personal favorite, yes. ramen. Yeah. So you bring those in and I think the grade level that has the largest donation by the end of the collection gets to have some extra wellness. That's cool. Yes. In Georgia, you asked, where is it going? It's going to the uh, Woodford Food Pantry. So for people that might need food, especially during this time of year, they have some extra food. Like squirrels? No, no not squirrels. People. Not animals, people. people. <laughs> I think squirrels have enough, nor normally. It just seems to work out for the squirrels. <laughs> yeah, they need different kinds of food too. <clears throat> yeah, so the tables are in the back. And are they, do they have labels on them? I've seen a couple of labels. I think they'll labels. have some on there by tomorrow. I Soon know that enough. We okay. do have a few cans on there already. So students go ahead and bring those in. Make sure you put them with the proper grade level and yeah. we'll count those all up. Yeah, sounds great. So bringing that in, guys. All right, we're ready to wrap it up. You guys know how we wrap it up? No. We usually say that stallions are safe 
respectful, respectful and responsible. And, and it's, it's always, always a great day to be a Southside Stallion. Thanks, guys.